At the nightly banquet, a thousand reverently whispering schizophrenics savor the taste of sadness in the flesh of a dove, while unannounced the lonely toad barges through the gates of paradise. against you? No. Do you enjoy? No. We can always operate, Henry. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You know, I kind of like you. If they ever let you out, would you like to come watch a building burn down with me? Perhaps my captors had poisoned my brain. To stay sane, I had to take action. I had been keeping the ghost of a former lover in my limbic region. She had been killed when her art terrorist group, Gothic Atrocious, was attempting to blow up the Metropolitan Museum of Marketing Art. She was a useful ally. She knew how to kill a man with low frequency sound waves and how to make a delicious banana pudding. I was counting on her to take me to the Dream River so that I could protect my brain. It took a lot of effort, but I was able to summon her. Man. I was a brother of the free spirit in ancient Thuringia, 
I led a revolt against the church. They were killing my people because we refused to live by the Bible. My support was enormous, so the Pope decided to kill me. My followers had a secret tradition which allowed us to have the direct experience of God. Many of us were burned at the stake, but none spoke. <sighs> so His Holiness sent a beautiful woman. Each night she came into my arms, and each morning she put a grain of arsenic in my food when I broke fast. But I didn't die. I thrived on the poison. My skin began to break out in rosettes of inflammation, the stigmata of heresy. One evening I kissed her and she died in my arms. The poison in my saliva killed her. <laughs> Jesus wants me to invite you boys over for a barbecue possum. Monitors, catheters, plungers, and wheezers, angiogrammatical geezers with seizures, deadly bacilli aloft in the air, gamma ray patients without any hair, hospital corridors backed up with gurneys, starch colored pinstripe malpractice attorneys. Rubber gloved interns will have a lady nose. I'll keep it with nurses, apply electrodes. Odd looking specimens, handled with tweezers, and sheets covered cadavers asleep in the freezers. <laughs> <laughs> I would introduce you to my wife, but she's hanging up, dressed out in the shed. Hey, uh, come on in, let's have some fajitas. <laughs> it's party time! Think of your brain for a moment. It's the only organ you have which can consider itself.